most people have literally no clue what communism actually is. I will start by saying that I'm not the expert either, proving the point. I'm using the United States as the basis for this argument since in my country Portugal, we have a communist party but their members and people in general actually understand what they believe in and what they want if they manage to become the governing party, it's basically impossible at this moment and they have 7 eighths percent or less every election, but in the US I come to realize that people actually have no idea what communism or communist ideas are. Socialism isn't equal to communism. Also, everything I disagree with isn't communism. You are just an idiot that chooses to be ignorant or that doesn't want to hear no more often than none. I would even argue that most people can't even point if a political idea is mostly left or right wing. Edit one asterisk. It seems to be important to clarify that my goal was never to promote communism as some great idea that is the best option for your country or something. My only point was, People talk about stuff and equate it to communism when there is actually no evidence of it being the case or it being even remotely close in terms of what both represent. Edit 2 asterisk. In my interpretation and simplifying it, communism is a socio-economical and political ideology based on a self-sustaining human existence that wants to promote an egalitarian society and with no social classes. Thanks slash you slash Aprix 4 for the correction on the definition. Proving my point that even Op doesn't know the exact and correct definition and that's why I'm not throwing the word around like it's nothing. Edit 3 asterisk. Taking away your rights equals slash equals communism. Interracial marriage equals slash equals communism. Yes, socialism is on the same spectrum of communism but there is a big difference between both ideologies but you can argue that socialism is a middle term for socialism but you can have a socialist party that doesn't intend on becoming a communist party or even implementing a communist regime slash society the same way you wouldn't classify every single right-wing party nationalist 99 percent of the commenters here have no clue what communism is the irony nor do people have any idea what actual fascism is either. I honestly don't think a lot of people know what a liberal or a conservative is either. First post woohoo. I see you've had a political discussion with my mother. It's infuriating because even trying to describe the differences in ideology elicits a you think I don't know the difference. I've been alive a lot longer than you. Cool mom, you've also been ignorant a lot longer than I apparently. As a person whose country first suffered a communist revolution, I fully agree. Exactly. My mom told me some stories about how she was treated when communists were in Romania. It was terrible, and what she told me didn't even cover half of it. What people consider communist is way too different from reality. You had me at most people have literally no clue. I'm sick of people who don't understand basic principles such as how you don't pick your tools until you define your task. Typical clueless person, let's argue about what the media celebrity says about what a politician said about another politician who said something stupid. What is communism by your definition? I saw far too many people claiming to know what communism actually is without actually knowing it. Apparently the communist party has no idea what communism is either then since a communist society would not have political parties. What they are advocating for is socialism, the transitional stage between capitalism and the theoretical future communist utopia. I know what communism is, an impossibility. The daydream of communism is also the favorite promise of despots who want to separate you from your freedom and property. I've met many people who were all for an actual communist society. Nice people with a great vision for a mutually prosperous society. Their main fault in logic is that they discount the fact that somebody will have to administer the system. That is the problem. The administrators always turn into the same tyrants who promised the utopian communist vision in the past. Suffering commences whenever communism is declared the objective. That's exactly the reason people have such a dim view of it. Most people have no idea what communism is. Proceeds to not explain what communism is. I was recently accused of being an extremist communist because I told someone that the beach being closed during a pandemic is not a violation of their rights. 
they went on and on about how this is how tyranny starts and look what happened in Nazi Germany. Dude, I'm not a communist and you're not losing your rights, you're just a spoiled asshole. With all the comments calling up pro-communism. I think they proven their point. Communism. Communist Party. Choose one. As someone coming from Russia, and not the rich parts of it but also experiencing Germany for most of my life with some visits in Russia at my grandma's place once a year for several years. I think I am allowed to agree with your opinion because most people truly don't understand it and that goes for both sides. Socialism, and that is something I think is very important, just look at Luxembourg, Netherlands, Denmark, Sweden, Norway even bigger countries like France and Germany, but also across the world on Singapore. All these countries have social structures veering on how they work and how much they do. But these are all capitalistic countries as well, Sweden is probably one of the most extremes of both. Yes, you read that correctly. Sweden is highly capitalistic but also very socialistic, because they are not opposing, they are but not directly and not full on. Sweden has in my eyes one of the best political systems, because it did something most people would assume will never work, it is like looking at a big building and wondering what engineering went into it. But back to the point. Socialism is not communism. It literally means to have a fair social structure. But communism is not good either, it fuels corruption, it fuels power struggles, it is pretty much capitalism but just behind the back. As a German I had a lot of access to data and history about the DDR, the eastern part of Germany, and you see a lot of things happening there that you would assume were highly capitalistic. And they were, just behind the back. Special hospitals for politicians and important people, fully stocked with food the average person could never get because of shortages would be the prime example. It is a system that wants to make everyone equal, but also a system that allowed for the exact opposite to happen. You see this in extreme in North Korea. You may claim that this is not communism, it is. It just choose where it goes. The important people there live a lifestyle even above us while 15 to 20 million people suffer. We don't even know the exact amount of people living there. But the same goes for capitalism in its pure form it, it is not contained. And you see a lot of it in the US. You have family clans, big cooperations, CEOs, etc. Controlling the country, indirectly and directly. Capitalism just as communism share one single thing in common. They allow an oligarchy to happen, to develop, to get a foot in the door and as soon as that happens, good luck changing it back. You pretty much have to wreck everything and start from zero because these people, even if you take their money, even if you take their company, they will have their knowledge, their network, and opportunities. They will fight to gain it back. And this is what most likely will happen in Russia when Putin is gone. It will be a dumpster fire, one you and I both would want to stay as far away from as possible. Russia. China, USA, are all gonna eventually crash politically. They are pretty much got but live and without dragons. It's about influence, about power, and about controlling the others. We are all just stupid figures in their game. I don't even know how you can believe that a extreme system is better than another. I mean there are probably worse ones, like a country lead by some fascists who kill millions of people, especially Jews. But I am sidetracking here and you get the point. I am a firm believer that a system that is a mix of several systems is the best, just as Sweden which I named as one of my favorite examples. If it weren't so far north, I would probably want to live there. What bothers me in such discussions is that people don't realize that they are being played. They are fighting a war for someone else to profit. What do you gain from a full-on capitalist country? What do you gain from a full communist country? Nothing. These are not for you, these are for the ruler to abuse. You are just a figure in their power struggles. Edit, I just reread it and remembered that I forgot to explain with what I mean communism is just capitalism behind the back. Here are two examples. In the DDR the government had a special agency that pretty much worked on selling everything they could to other countries. Even things like blood. 
The more the country struggled the more willing they were to sell anything, literally their own grandma. In North Korea there is also a department slash agency which whole job is to lead companies outside of it. You probably heard of the North Korean restaurants outside of NK, mostly in Vietnam, China and other Asian countries. But also pretty much slave worker companies in Europe and other regions. They send their own people there, forcing them to work, all the pay they get, gets to the construction company that is hit in a way that it is not directly known that they are pretty much just owned by NK. And since NK enforces punishment on all people of a family if one single does something bad, these people are pretty much forced to work as slaves outside their country on the other half of the world, where they could flee, but they don't because at home all their family, their parents, partner, kids would be punished for it. That is something I would imagine some screwed up capitalism with the oligarchy like we had it centuries ago in most parts of the world would produce. But no, this is literally to what most systems lead to in their extreme.